<laughs> I'm sweating just ripping bread. <laughs> People will say it's burnt, but it's not burnt. Maybe we should have worn aprons. That's just gonna be what it is. It's close. It's gonna be the last minute. <laughs> the chicken is gonna be up to the last minute. They're taking a lot longer than one would expect. Why did we decide to do this? We're lagging on potatoes, Chuck. Hey guys, um, I'm Haley Catalano. I'm Chuck Cruz. And we're here in the Food 52 Test Kitchen today and we're gonna do a Thanksgiving-ish, small-ish menu, hopefully in two hours. Me and Chuck are gonna cook together. We haven't done this in a while. I think it's gonna be great. So our idea was a little bit of a smaller Thanksgiving, like maybe for like four people that you can make somewhat quickly. We're gonna do a chicken, and then we're gonna do a bunch of different sides. We're gonna make the gravy. We're gonna do some mashed potatoes, because you have to have mashed potatoes. Oh, and we're gonna do some sweet potatoes, too, hopefully. This is all, hopefully, that we're gonna get this in two hours. <laughs> okay. All right, Margaret, give us a countdown. Oh, my goodness. Three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I need a sheet tray. I need a sheet tray. I'm gonna dry out. I'm gonna dry out bread first. That's my that's my thing. I'm gonna do the spice rub for the chicken, deseed and uh, toast these chilies, and then uh, throw in the blender. I'm working on the stuffing first. I'm gonna. Well, Chuck's probably gonna make most of the stuffing, but I'm gonna dry out the bread. I feel like ripped bread is better stuffing, you know, than cubed bread because you have you have like that, <laughs> you know. This is more fun. So we're doing a sourdough stuffing, and we're just gonna do your basic, you know, onion, celery, all those aromatics in there. We're gonna put fennel, right, Chuck? Yeah, fennel. Fennel. And then we're gonna do chorizo as our little sausage component. Yeah, so I got some chorizo here. I'm gonna render out with some butter. It's uh, really cooked down, like really soft. So I think it's, I think technically what we're making is dressing. I think stuffing goes technically in your chicken or turkey. Um, so I think technically it's dressing. I don't know, it's such a, it's such a question that people, it's a whole thing. Oh, I feel like it's taking me a long time to rip this bread, you guys. <laughs> I'm sweating just ripping bread. <laughs> She's gotta be quicker than this. Okay, that's it. That's all the bread we're getting, Chuck. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm toasting the bread, drying it out for the stuffing. Um, I'm just gonna do this at like 400 degrees. It should take like 30 minutes or so-ish. I gotta get something else in the oven now. I'm gonna grab the potatoes. I think I'm gonna do, I like these because they're small, but I might be too, I think I'm gonna use these ones. Yeah, I'm gonna do these. So I'm going to cook the potatoes in like a foil pack because it's like, it's gonna make them cook a lot quicker because it's gonna create a lot of steam in the pack. And yeah, and I think it comes out very yummy that way. But now I'm gonna roast these off. Oh wait, you know what, actually I'm gonna do them here. I'm gonna do them here, because I know I'm gonna forget them. They're probably gonna like roast for like 25, 30 minutes or so. I'm doing the shallots and leeks underneath the uh, chicken. I'm gonna spatch cock the chicken. So I like to take this backbone off, just kind of make a little outline of it. I'm just kind of go straight through. So I took off this backbone and then uh, I just laid it the breast side up and I just kind of broke the the breastplate underneath. I'm gonna season this on the cutting board. Oh, I saw how a lot of people are doing the porcini mushroom on steak to get that like uh, really like a lot of umami and stuff. So I thought like fajitas would be good with that too. The color too. I think. Yeah, it's a very, yeah. oh yeah, it lends such a lovely yeah. color to the chicken. Yeah, all right, chicken is in. But I'm gonna do financier stuff now. You know, my biggest tip personally, and I think Chuck agrees with this, is just don't be worried about like everything being extremely Hot, in my opinion, you know, like it's gonna be hot enough and people are gonna be fine. I'm starting by browning the butter. And with baked stuff, it is just easier. You get a better product if you just weigh it, you know? So financier is like a almond brown butter pastry cake, cake texture. I believe, well, they're usually in like little bar forms. And I think um, it comes from like financier means like finance person type thing in, in French. And I think, don't quote me, um, but I think that's why it's usually in that gold bar shape, kind of like finance, gold bar, yada, yada. Yeah, <laughs> but that could be a food myth, but I heard it somewhere and it sounds cute. So I'm going to go with it. <laughs> I feel like we're behind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, I feel a little behind, but nothing that, nothing that we haven't felt before. <laughs> Oh gosh, see, there she goes. But that's okay. Oh, bread. Let's 
see. Oh yeah, that's good, see, you can even hear it. Okay, so I'm just whisking. You could even um, sift this probably would be better, but we don't really have time. So we're just whisking and using our hands to take the clumps. <laughs> oh, we need our sugar. Oh my gosh, imagine if we forgot to put the sugar in the cake. So now I'm going to separate some egg whites. I think we're doing good, Chuck. The chicken's in, that's a big yeah, thing. Yeah, chicken's in. That's a big <laughs> All right, we're going. We're going. Oh, she's gotten messy already. Okay, so I mixed all the egg whites into our dry ingredients. You have this kind of mixture looking like that. And then we're just gonna put in our butter. Usually I would let this cool a little bit more. Today, nobody has time for that. So we're just gonna dump it in and work quickly. This one is very simple, easy to put together. Basically one bowl. And you can't really, you can't really mess it up. But <laughs> let's not say that yet, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up some pears. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I'm just chopping up some chocolate now that I'm gonna to toss into the financier. I feel like we're okay still Yeah. <laughs> with time. Honestly, this is gonna taste somewhat similar to like a brown butter chocolate chip cookie, but in like a cake tart form. So I'm fanning these pears. Okay, so this is ready to go in the oven. And see, look at how fun that looks, right? Doesn't it look festive? And it's so easy. Going right in. Oh wow, the chicken's looking good. And then I'm actually gonna grab the timer from over here so I just don't forget. I'm just gonna, and we might as well check the, um, the sweet potatoes while we're here. Okay, I think we gotta turn it up, folks. All right, I'm gonna get the, the gravy kind of going. Took that back from the chicken. I just did an equal parts uh, flour and fat. And then I added some stock to it. Then just gonna bring it up to a boil so it thickens up. And then let it simmer for a little bit. Hour 20 Hour left. Hour 20. I think we're okay. I think we're actually okay. I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do sweet potatoes, Chuck. I mean, not sweet potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. Mm -hmm. And for mashed potatoes, I don't like to, as much as I probably should cut these smaller so that they cook quicker, they never come out good if you cut them really small. They absorb too much water and they get like mushy. I actually like to rinse the potatoes a couple times to get some of this, kind of like rice, when you cook rice, get some of the starch off because I think it makes them fluffier. That's just gonna be what it is. Good. Stuffing, see? Stuffing. <laughs> oh, here. You might need that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna cook the sunchokes. I'm gonna cook the sunchokes in the cream so that the cream then also tastes like sunchokes. A sunchoke is like a, it's a tuber. It's in the tuber family, but it's in the sunflower family. Um, but it tastes like an artichoke. So I think that's why they call it sunchoke. Oh, we did start, well, it won't be a secret if I say this. We did start a secret account. If you, someone wants to find it, that's both of us cooking at the same time. It's a secret though. But yeah, Chuck's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> the hard, hard launch, right? That's hard right. launch. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So we're gonna cook. The sun chokes in the half and half. Can I put that here? Yeah. So basically I'm just gonna make some sun choke chips out of thinly fried sun chokes and it'll be a nice little component on top of the mashed potatoes. Gravy, should we strain it and just have it in the pot? Yeah. I could do that. We're gonna strain our gravy and just have it ready for when our chicken's done and we can add more drippings to it. See, this is the point where it's like, okay, everything's cooking, but will it be done? <laughs> everything's in the works. So we got uh, the Meyer lemon dressing and pecan. Just chopping up some pecan, toasted pecans. Then I'm gonna mix them with lemons and olive oil. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully these are looking more done. Oh yeah, see I hear them sizzling. It'll just there. And then we're gonna open it up and you gotta be careful because a lot of steam probably is gonna come out. Yeah, that's good. And this one. But honestly, that's probably all we really need. I'm gonna work on the, the jellied cranberry. Just gonna put some uh, chili crisp on it and then uh, celery leaves. Let's see this banana's here. I think it's good. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna just put it through the ricer. 
kind of got most of the water out. It gets it more, uh, I feel like more fluffy. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. The roast chicken is almost done. It looks like at like 140. The breast or the? The breast. It's close. It's yeah. gonna be the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken is gonna be up to the last minute. <laughs> I am going to cut these sweet potatoes. The gravy, we're gonna obviously add the drippings to. A little bit of soy sauce and Worcestershire. We like to add that. I feel like it adds, what, a depth of flavor. Yeah, so rich. Yeah. All the... This adds like a little umami, depth of flavor. Yeah. I think we're gonna finish. I think so. I think we're gonna actually finish. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's like all up to the last point, it's kind of like still uh, pondering it. Pondering it. <laughs> Wow, look at that bird. Actually just going to put a little bit of salt on all these potatoes here, the flesh side, and then we're gonna sear them up. We were talking about what we can put on top of your gravy so you don't get that film, because it, it often gets a skin when it sits out even just a couple minutes at room temp, but you can put your buttered, buttered butter sheet thing on top of it, and then it won't get that skin because it won't be exposed to the, the air. Mm -hmm. So 18 minutes left. We have to finish the mashed potatoes. We have to finish the sweet potatoes. This is just plating once these are browned. Chuck's finishing up our leeks, which is just a lovely salad on top. I got a demold. I'm the financier. And that's it, I think, right? Is that it? Mm hmm. Putting the final touches on everything. Mashed potatoes are almost done. I'm just kind of letting them chill out here a little bit. The gravy's done, the chicken's out. I like it. That's fun. Yeah. That's cute. A, little, a lot of chives. We got them. We got them. If you if you got them, use them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Is that it? I think I think I think that we did it. I think <laughs> I think. Is that it? Financier cream is not out. Cranberry. But 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 up. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we did it, we did it, thank God. <laughs> wow. Oh, two minutes left, okay. With two minutes to spare. That means we can hydrate. <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. So we cooked Thanksgiving in two hours with two minutes to spare. <laughs> Somehow, we don't know how. But we were able to get it all done, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. Throughout the whole thing, I wasn't totally sure. Mm -hmm. Somehow we got it done. Somehow we did it. At an hour and 15 minutes, I thought we weren't gonna finish. Yeah, so did I. I was like, I was yeah, like no this is not happening at all. Like all I was the potatoes like, oh my God. Are raw. Yeah, all the potatoes were raw at that point, And like, no potatoes were cooking. Like, I thought the oven wasn't on, but the oven was hot. I was like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. This has never happened before. And the chicken was ice cold. Around, I think, I would say 15, no, 30 minutes, I felt. Yeah, there, or the 15 minute mark, I was like, oh, everything's done. Yeah. And then I just turned off and then like, it was done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna so serve yeah. ourselves up. I'm gonna get some I'll of start this over here. cranberry, okay. save our leaves. Potato. <laughs> oh yeah, sweet potato, please. Gravy on it all. Okay, cool. put it there. That looks good though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Chicken first, the main thing. Oh, I like the skin. The skin yeah, is good. Yeah, the skin came out kind of good. Crispy with the gravy. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's so good. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can really taste the, the porcini. Yeah, the porcini mm -hmm. comes through. And the skin got crispy. Yeah, it's juicy mm -hmm. still. And it's juicy. And the gravy is... Divine. Yeah. Stuffing? Yeah, stuffing. Crispy and moist, which is what you want. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I actually really love the, yeah. the chorizo. The chorizo is good in this. The chorizo with the fennel. This is definitely not your traditional yeah. stuffing tape. Like it doesn't have that. Sage. The sage. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what it's missing. Sage. If it had sage, it would probably be Should've put that in there. Should we try the mash? Know. Mash first? Yeah. Mash. The mash, actually now, I'm not upset by the texture. Yeah, it kind of smoothed out. It's but. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, very good. Very good. The sun chokes comes, comes, comes out a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Success? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like success. Yeah. I think everything came out. Definitely mm -hmm. edible, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you kind of try out some of these tips and tricks on your Thanksgiving, some of the recipes, um, and yeah. Yeah, if you want more videos, check out the video right here. <laughs>